In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build the first part of your course page, and then I'm going to give you some options on how to upload your signature assignments. So let's bring you to this page that I've created. This is an example course page that I've created. You want to start with a course name, so you can type in just the abbreviation for the course, and then the number, or you can type out the entire course name if you would like. Um, I think adding a relevant image is um, a good thing for your page, making it look a little bit more interesting. Make sure, um, or at least try to add in the link that you found the image from for copyright purposes. Um, underneath that, you can write in a short description of the course. You can put in your reflection or other informational text. So for the next part, um, you want to really check with your professor on how they want the assignment posted. Um, some of them are more particular about um, how they want it posted than others, so make sure you check that before um, choosing one of the methods down here. Um, I'm only going to post videos on the most common methods that we use. Um, if you have methods that, um, other methods that you need to post your um, signature assignments by, you may want to stop in the lab to get some help on that instead. So we're going to build this very first part. Um, with the course name, the image, and then um, maybe like a little area for a reflection before we move on to how the different methods work. So let's go over here. Let's start with a text and rename this one. It looks like I'm on my biology page. So I'm going to highlight this and center it. And then place this wherever you want. And then you can add an image so you need to upload one, most likely, or you can grab it from the clip art or something else. Once you have your image, place it wherever you would like. I'm going to extend this. And that's how you do the very first part of your course page. Um, if you want, you can get more creative with this, such as attaching the word to the image. Um, make sure you drop it on the side to check um, what happens to it, so it looks like it's hiding it right now. So what we want to do is make sure we bring it to the front, which is this button. And now you can place it on that image and change your font. And I'm going to change the color so it's a little bit more readable. And we can even change the font. So wherever you want to place this, you can. Then use the drag handles to move the image up. So you can also bold it. Okay, so let's go back to the methods. So the first method is the copy and paste method. This is what it looks like right here. Um, so all the text that I wanted to use, so this is great for essays, um, anything with just text, you can just copy and paste that from like a Word document, even a PDF. Sometimes we'll let you um, copy and paste your um, paper over. So you just put it in a text box and it lands right on the page like this. Um, some of the things that I made notes for here, um, this is the easiest one to do if you're doing like an essay, um, and it's the most recommended method um, in my opinion because it looks a lot better and it really is just a lot easier. Um, but the thing with this is that most images probably won't copy over, so you might have to add those in separately. And sometimes copying and pasting text doesn't always come out the way we want it, so it may require some reformatting, but overall it's not too bad. But um, again, it also depends on how your professor wants it and what you actually um, have as your signature assignments. Um, because, you know, for example, um, if it um, is too long, um, you may want to try something else like the button method the button or link method. So these are really good for downloading. Um, so 
if you click on here, this will download um, a paper here. But the thing about downloading um, docs, uh, like Word documents, is that some professors don't like this method. Um, and you can imagine, because like if they have 25 students, they have to download 25 papers, and that's a lot of downloading. Um, it's a lot easier to just read it directly on the page like this. Um, it's also good for linking to different pages of your website, um, sorry, your ePortfolio, um, or other external websites um, that you have to make or just, you know, other websites that you want to share. Um, this can also be a really good option for large assignments. So if you have like a, I don't know, a 14 page paper, um, copying and pasting that um, can be a lot of text for someone to read. Um, your professors may or may not specify that they want that um, to be copy and pasted. So make sure you pay attention to that. Um, and then there, the link or button method is also good for assignments that are not easy to copy and paste. So like Excel, Excel um, assignments or um, some math assignments um, might be easier to just um, paste as a or put in a button or link to a PDF like this so you can have it open up to another tab and then the assignment is right on there. So that's that method. Here is the slideshow or gallery method. This is good for images, um, PowerPoints, um, or multiple page assignments like math assignments and image files. So anything with like multiple, um, this is great for. So this is an example of a PowerPoint. Um, and I can have this autoplay and you can change the fastness or slowness of how um, each slide plays. So this here is a gallery, and I think sometimes if you click on it, it will enlarge it. So it just kind of depends on what you want it to do. Um, if you have something that isn't in an image file, you may want to convert it on this link here. So it's called smallpdf.com. And let's see, if I click on here, um, you'll want to change it to a JPG. So um, whatever it is first, you'll want to change it um, into like a PDF and then maybe click this one. Sometimes you can just save um, your files as images, so just pay attention to that if you want to put it in a gallery or a slideshow. Um, with PowerPoints, so you'll just have to save them as images, and that will allow you to put it in as a slideshow. Um, other methods are videos, so for Wix, um, primarily YouTube and Vimeo are good options. Um, they work the best and are probably the easiest to work with. Um, make sure you have an account and um, upload your videos and then find that link and paste it in the the little widget that um, comes on Wix and then you should have that video on um, your page. Or you can just find the video that you need on YouTube, just find that link, same thing. You can also share um, songs or music. Um, this one is from Spotify and this one's from SoundCloud. So you can also share with uh, HTML codes. So it works that way. Um, so whichever method you would like to learn, um, go ahead and watch in the next few videos.